a child. What a child. One of his favorites. And I just wanted to quickly say, welcome to day one of blog, blogist. Blogist. Okay, I just wanted to say that, uh, yes, I'm doing Vlogist. It'll be a video every day in August, meaning some will be vlogs, some won't. I have already started like pre-recording some things so that I have stuff to put up. So it'll be a very various subjected Vlogist. <laughs> Something like that. But yeah, um... I don't have anything else to say. I'm cleaning today, hence ugly hair and no makeup. And, oh, you guys want an update on, like, my skin tag removal things? Look at, they're still here. The scars from the burning. I'm not happy about that, you know what I'm saying? It's been months. I'm over it. I want that crap to get off my neck because, like, I'm embarrassed everywhere I go. I feel like I gotta tell everybody that's what's on my neck. Cause I know they're looking because I would look. Hey, you coming back down and talk to me? My dog. If you're new to my channel, my dog is my life. Don't look at the, the dishes. Oh wait, those are clean dishes. <laughs> it's never a dull moment in this house. All right, I'll talk to you soon. Let's go. Go stop the car for a minute. Come on. Oh Hold on. Hold on. There you go. Oh, I've got mud all over my back seat. Look at this destruction. Look at that. Good gosh! Well, come on, let's go! Poopsie. But her name's actually Trinity. I never said we were normal people. Are you getting... <laughs> Poop, they're gonna... I'm sorry, did I interrupt you? I'm sorry. Poop, we're trying to tell them why we named you Poop. That doesn't mean go poop. There she goes, Jesus. Oh my God, that's not why we call her poop. Nor was that planned. I have literally nothing going on today, hence why you're getting dog footage. I'm just gonna be cleaning my room, which is in a state of absolute chaos. The sea of shit is what I usually like to call it. This past weekend was my Radiohead concert trip. And I have not unpacked from it. <sighs> the only thing is, 
the shirt I'm wearing is identical to the shirt that I wore the day we went home from the hotel, me and my best friend. So I feel like I got to tell Heather the same, the same shirt. Okay. I haven't been in the same shirt since Sunday. I promise. <laughs> you know what she's doing? She's screaming at the TV going, oh, yes, she is. Yes, it is. But no, it's not. Poop, Really? Damn. I've got nothing else. You want to know what I'm doing though? I'm clean, well, attempting to clean my room. Then I got to run my son to the mall with his friends. Which I know me. My energy is to do stuff right now, right? So am I getting, oh, I thought something just bit me. My energy is to do something right now. So I'll go upstairs and I will start the project of my room. And it is a project because I bought a little three drawer tote container to move to basically house things in since I have no storage in my room I'm going to get started I'm going to get in the mood to do it and that's when he's going to need a ride to the mall and then all my energy is going to be sapped by the time I get back and I'm not going to do anything story of my life y'all done there piglet oh Jesus he's got hit in the face with branches Okay, come on. Same day, different hair. <laughs> We're just outside again, doing my doggy walk, but I won't bore you with the doggy walk. I was just talking to my best friend on the phone. Not on the phone, well, texting. We don't do phone calls because no one wants to be on the phone. No one wants to be stuck on the phone, especially me. Um, so this past weekend, which you, I'm putting this video up on my first day of vlog us. So you will see footage of the weekend I am about to tell you about in the upcoming days. I, you know, like I told you, I pre-recorded stuff, but the first video is going to be a caught up video, which is right now. So this is actually happening the day before I post it. Okay. So this past weekend is where my friend and I went to go see Radiohead up in Boston. She lives in Connecticut. I live in New York. Basically we met halfway, hooked up and stayed in a hotel, a very nice hotel called The Boxer, which literally was minutes. I'm talking like two to three minutes from the concert venue, which I was pretty impressed with. And her and her husband paid for everything for the entire weekend. My concert tickets, the room, everything is, well, for her, obviously her pleasure as well, but also because of uh, my birthday. So I am beyond thankful for that. I think I've said it to her about 60 million trillion times. She's probably sick of hearing it. But anyway, so uh, ugh, we stayed in a really fancy schmancy hotel. It was very nice. And so nice, so ritzy, that the products they provided, you know how the hotels always give uh, shower gels, shampoo, conditioner, you know, even lotions, things like that, in case you forgot yours. Well, the ones they provided were the brand L'Occitane. And if you don't know what L'Occitane is, let me tell you how it's not cheap. It's, it's pretty pricey. And, but you know, it's luxurious, luxurious products. You know what I'm saying? Some, damn it, she has found a rock. If you could only see the size of this thing, which I'm going to have to somehow get her. Hey, hey, look over there. What's that? 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 Okay. Now we have a problem. I'm gonna have to come back and I'll show you the egg. I get One to fight to get this out of her mouth. Are you, are you seeing this? Here, poop, let's show them the rock. Yeah, my dog likes rocks. She's not normal. Oh my God. Now watch if I come near it, what she's gonna do. Paws already went up and Please. <laughs> Get 
Give me that. Give me that rock. Give me it. Give me it. Maybe I can kick it all the way down the hill and she just won't think we're playing. Maybe. Give me it. Give me that rock. Give me it. Nope, that didn't work. <laughs> Come here with that. We'll just play closer and closer to the back. <sighs> Bloody mosquitoes. <sighs> well, I had to trick her that I was playing with her to get rid of it. It was huge. I don't know if you got could see it clearly. I'll have to rewatch the videos, but she will literally try to drag that thing in the house and throw it around like a ball and chase it by herself. But we have hardwood floors, so just imagine those giant rocks being thrown around the house. That's my dog. You know, she's pretty mad at me. Huh? She's not talking to me. Uh, you're not speaking to me? Oh, thank you. Okay. Okay, let's get back to my story. Okay? We get back to my story for a minute? Are you still mad at me? I'm sweating my balls off because I took a lot of action out of me. <sighs> so basically, they provided super snazzy <sighs> products. I'm sweating my ass off right now, okay? <sighs> super snazzy, expensive products. As the shampoo, conditioner, shower gel, body lotion, okay? The brand L'Occitane. I do not remember any specific versions, like what, what scent it was or anything like that. But, so, clearly, both of us showered at some point. And I had brought my own products, but I'm like, hell no, I'm using L'Occitane, you know. Because L'Occitane is something I've always wanted to try, especially their almond one, because I hear about it all the time from other YouTubers. So... I happily used it, and so did she. And we were just, you know, texting on the phone, just bullshitting. Actually, I wasn't bullshitting. I was telling her how I wish it was fall already, fall, autumn. I'm not saying fall, autumn, like I want the kids to go back to school, because I like it when my son's out of school. I like it when he's home. I mean, I just wish weather would become fall, autumn, because that's my favorite time of year. And you know, it's when the best candles come out, the best scents, you know, you know, things like that. Well, anyways, we're just chit-chatting. And then, uh, bada bang, bada boom, I tell her, just so you'll know, I'm sure nothing contagious, but I have broken out into hives. They are all over me, and they began Sunday night, which was when I finally got home after driving her back to her place. I noticed it, and then I'm like, oh, maybe it's prickly heat. That's what I thought at first, we had like prickly heat. And whatever, they don't itch really that much, you know what I'm saying? So, Hold on, I'm sorry, I'm distracted by my dog. What are you doing? Hey, come over here. Get out of there. Where are you going? Um, all right, so anyway. At first I thought it was prickly heats. I, I now know it's not prickly heats. And I think it's hives. That's what I told her. I think I broke out in hives. I can't think of anything other than L'Occitane being the only product that was different in my in my life. And I, you know, I was just going to tell her just for the sake of telling her. And she's like, oh, my God, I'm broke out, too. I'm like, what? She goes, yeah. She, she's like, she thought they were, you know, she was worried they were bites of some, some kind. Because she's a freak about bites. God, God, she's afraid of bugs, man. Aren't we all, though? Anyhow, um, she thought it was, but she was, well, she, re oh, my God. Can I form a sentence? Jeez. She at first thought it was bites. She realized quickly after it was not and just thought she was broke out. And, you know, then I text her and think, no, these are their hives, on me anyway. And then she realized she's got them as well. So we both have it narrowed down to L'Occitane or the only other thing possible is maybe what they wash the bed linens in, you know, the hotel bed. But I'm thinking it's L'Occitane. Which, in a weird way, is kind of good because now I won't have to waste my money buying L'Occitane because I wanted to, and it's too expensive. Now I don't have to buy it because I know I'm allergic to it. 
win-win. That's how I'd see that. Win-win.